things. Hi. Look Hi. At, oh, nice shirt, Rain. <laughs> ah, Canada. We only bought like one shirt and one sweater, and we didn't want to sweat our asses off because it's fucking hot. Yeah. Can you bath for sweating every day. <laughs> Literally, I'm awake for like five, doing my makeup, and like five minutes later, my upper lip's just fucking sweating. But, yeah. To update you guys, if I didn't already, we play LLG today, the Chinese team, and then we play um, winner of Team Sweden and uh, Russian. If we win. Yes, if we win against yeah. LLG. You know, not trying to jinx herself, knock on I, in my head, I'm, I'm thinking if we win. All right, off to the shuttle, and I need to put this away because I want my hands free and it's fucking hot. So peace. Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, to summarize what happened today, um, so we started off playing, who did we play? We played LLG, first BO3 of the day, and we lost. Um, I think 2-0, the first game, I, I don't remember the scores, but we basically shut the bed. Um, yeah, I mean, I could kind of go into like all these details about why we might have lost or whatever, but at the end of the day, um, we played the decider match against Sweden and won that. So we kind of did, you know, redeem ourselves a little bit in dignity. Um, we were losing quite hard against LLG. We just, the first game was actually, um, we were in the lead, but we just kind of, started messing up, losing close rounds, and I think that kind of got to us as a team. A little bit of nervousness and whatnot. Um, and it happens. It's whatever. We moved on, played Team Sweden. This ad always plays. The TV turns on and the same ad plays like 50 times in a row. But yeah, we played Team Sweden and we beat them 2-0. Um, we were pretty confident since we already beat them before and we were um, feeling the map pool, and we're pretty confident in all the maps, so yeah. Um, but yeah, we got third place. Kind of sucks. I know I'm sure everybody in this event really wanted first place, and I definitely really wanted first, and shit happens, so I'm not too worried. Um, but yeah. A lot of ups and downs to this tournament, but I'm still happy that the tournament was ran in the first place, but um, I think they could work on a lot of things if they wanted to run it again. Things like just uh, no, very poor communication with players um, pre and during event, and you don't really know when you're playing, when you have to be there, the details, you kind of have to find that out on your own, like looking at HLTV. There's no real assigned admin to keep e each team on track, at least not in our tournament. Um, at least we didn't experience that. Um, things like we had no time to DM, really. Like We got there an hour ahead, thinking we would be able to warm up, which we actually would have been. Like We had the um, computers at our booths, but they told us not to set up because we'd be able to set up um, after uh, the first match, which was Russian versus Sweden. Um, so we were under the impression that we'd actually have time to warm up and we never got that time, which was unfortunate. No excuses, but it's just little, com little things about tournaments that should be a thing. Um, but what I actually did like about the tournament was, um, for one, they actually let you use the computers like daily. 
So for people who travel and didn't get the plane a couple days, it was actually really nice. So we actually got pretty good practice. The Canadian team actually played us in some scrims, so that was good practice and kept us occupied. And yeah, um, but yeah, tomorrow we have to be at the venue at 1 p.m. to do a closing ceremony. Um, that's the first time they told us when to be here. Great. Just kidding. With all those complaints though, I, like I said, I'm still glad they did the um, tournament and there were still a lot of good things about the tournament. Um, I just hope that these types of things would be fixed if they decide to run another female tournament, but not only female, just the mixed tournament as well. Like it should just be standard things that happen in tournaments, but yeah, I did really like the fact that they let us use computers um, daily. That's not always a thing. Um, at least not for us. So yeah, all in all, that's all it's been today. Um, we're gonna go hang out with the, the girls and everything. Uh, probably go downstairs, play like, some card games, and go back to bed. Like go come up and go back to bed or whatever. Um, so yeah, bye guys, and see you tomorrow. Hey guys, what up? Um, Heading to the venue now, we are doing closing ceremony and I don't know what else we're gonna do. I'm kind of hungry though, so I'm gonna eat. Um, brain's downstairs already because I thought I forgot my camera, but it was in my pocket the whole time. So yeah, peace. At the venue. 而且去年的ABS来自法国的冠军，但今年的话是没有能够颁奖典礼。不过在练习之前呢，让我们隆重的介绍一下此次到场的贵宾。First, let us introduce our guests today。他们是OCA终身名誉副主席、位置中先生及其夫人李丁佩女士、Angelia Ruggiero。Miss Angela Ruggiero, former International Olympic Committee Athletic Commission Chair。欢迎。The third place winner will receive a prize of $20,000.
的一种。我刚刚问的是这个，可能是解说的 Tony， 是否有看过对人的训练啊？他说，跟他们比起来，自己的水平就非常非常低了。他们的训练真的非常的刻苦啊。好，接下来，来吧，是亚军，他们要过。Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm pretty much packed up and getting ready to just maybe eat a little breakfast here, get the shuttle to the airport and head out. Just wanted to say thank you for everybody who supported and watched and yeah, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to release more content soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and guys.